Welcome back, everybody, to Assassin's Creed 3. And as we left off last time, we had some emails to read. So, uh, from Rebecca Crane, Sean is really getting on my nerves. You think that everything that's going on, the guy would stop being such a douche. Maybe he thinks it's funny, or maybe it's part of his snarky British charm. Or maybe it's how he deals with the stress. Whatever it is, it's getting old real fast. We've got enough to worry about, you know, end of the world and everything. You'd think he'd show a little restraint or maturity or something. Sorry. It's not like you need to hear me venting. You've got enough on your plate. Please don't say anything to him, though. And from her dad. In case you haven't noticed, we're knee-deep in the shit here. I understand this might not be your idea of a good time. It isn't anyone's idea of a good time. Picking fights isn't going to get our work finished any faster, so I suggest you stick to the mission. The sooner we're through the door, the sooner we can get back to our lives. Or in your case, the lack of one. This, this was a while ago, I think, before we called that truce. Not for Sean. William's not the most diplomatic man, I'll give you that, but he cares about you very much. When you were under, during that whole bit with 16, he never left your side, even slept in the same room when we put down for the night. Anyway, don't mean to be a busybody. Just didn't want you to stay sore with him. Not too sore, anyway. The man means well, even if he's got an odd way of showing it. Also from Sean as well. Just a quick heads up that I've pushed in a new batch of on, our entries focused on the uh, Kanye Kaheka. In order to ensure accuracy, I've actually turned to a friend on the outside. Don't worry, he thinks it's for a presentation, so we're, no, we're not in danger of being discovered. Uh, you'll find a new section under the database labeled Surprise, Surprise, Kanye Kahaka. It was information on their political and social structures, as well as some notes about their material culture. From Sean as well. Interesting, the sphere used by Connor during his spirit journey is clearly first civilization in origin. It appears to function as some sort of temporal calculator. It's essentially a crystal ball, but one that actually works. This can't be coincidental, which begs the question, are there others out there? <clears throat> Hello. Alright. I'm assuming that'll make more sense later on. Uh, to Desmond Miles. It works. I should hardly be surprised electrical impulses move from one pathway to another. You call them networks. Our word for them was more akin to roads. Uh, it is yet difficult to project a thought from one medium to another, and yet it works. It works, it works, it works. Uh, I've been doing some digging on Haytham's blades. Still not 100% sure where they came from. My initial instinct was he started out as an assassin. I believe his father was one, in fact. But it appears he was a Templar from pretty early on. Maybe you took them from someone. It's happened before, and they're quite handy. I'm surprised more Templars haven't put them to use. Pretty easy to build a pair if you know what you're doing. Another one from our Barnary friend. I have found a way to better control the impulses, to formulate a thought and transmit it, to add a sense of structure, a sense of order. You fear order. Your kind, the gentle hand, tends the flock. It is a kindness, not a cruelty. A wonder will you ever understand. Your enemies do in their own way, but they share your base heritage. Their concept is flawed. They are not worthy. You have all proved unworthy of our gifts. <laughs> Excuse me. So I'm assuming this is one of the uh, ancients or the precursors. <clears throat> and it looks like Juno's really taking a shine to you. I suggest you don't engage her. There isn't time to go down that rabbit hole. It's sure to prove a badger's den. Besides, this whole experience is actually... <laughs> Alright, sorry about that. It looks like my allergies are kicking up more than usual. Anyways, uh, continued from our dad, that final door. Salvation, was it? But for us? Who knows? Here we sit, working towards something we know next to nothing about. But it's our only chance. So there's that, I suppose. Lol, somebody doesn't like me. You shouldn't meddle in the affairs that do not concern you. Ooh. Someone's not happy that I am uh, being talked to by Sean. All these Juno visits and emails, too, apparently, have got me thinking, what happened to... Tinia and Minerva. I don't know who that Tinia is, or Tynia. Tynia? Anyways, uh, they're the ones who invited us to this little apocalypse party, and now they've gone and buggered off. A little inconvenient, not to mention rude. I'll try and poke around later, see if there's not some sign of what happened to them. Okay, so those uh, were all the different emails we received as we were actually going through the story missions early on. Maybe I'll try and remember to start doing those as uh, they happen, but nonetheless... Back into the Animus we go. Good luck, Desmond. Thanks, Rebecca. <clears throat> These are troubled times. The already uneasy alliance between the Crown and its subjects frays. And behind them both, the Templars plot, pulling strings and moving pieces. History dictates they seek order through control. But how will they affect it here? Who supports them? And what conspiracies have they already 1773. spun? Connor. Wow! Spare a moment. 
For only of course. By knowing my enemy can hey, I we look cool. Stop them. Ooh. What is it? Xing Bao, or rope dart, if you prefer. One of the many plans given to us by Xiao Yun to. <sighs> Sorry. We'll have to work on this. <clears throat> So we're older now, which is finally awesome. I'm always a big fan of playing as an adult and not a child because I, well, I can relate a little bit more. Don Andoko, Even if I do act like friend. a child. What brings you here? Oh, is the village all was right? this our little tubby friend? For now. What do you mean? What has happened? Men came, claiming we had to leave. They said that the land was being sold and that the Confederacy had consented. We sent an envoy, but they would not listen. You must refuse! And we cannot uh, oppose the Satcham, but you're right as well. We cannot give up our home. Do you have a name? Do you know who is responsible? He is called William Johnson. Where is Johnson now? In Boston, making preparations for the sale. Sale? This is theft! Connor, take care. These men are powerful. What would you have me do? I made a promise to my people. If you insist upon this course of action, seek out Sam Adams in Boston. You'll be able to help. What have you done? When my people go to war, a hatchet is buried into a post to signify its start. When the threat is ended, the hatchet is removed. Uh, you could have used it. Yeah, thanks, Con Connor. Can you stop putting holes in the damn mansion? <clears throat> Meet with Peg Leg in the homestead about kids' treasure. Okay, that's uh, actually something I kind of would like to do, probably. New ship grade is available in the naval shop. You can visit the harbor master for more naval missions. <clears throat> Lots of stuff going on, jeez. Xiao Jun is an assassin from China and one of the last assassins to meet with Ezio Aditori before his death. Jun was born in royal captivity during the Ming Dynasty. She spent her teenage years life, her her teenage years life. What? She spent her teenage years life as one. That's weird. As one of the favorite concubines of the Chinese emperor Zheng Gid, Zheng Di. Uh, well, not as an ideal lifestyle, though I wouldn't mind it as better than digging ditches, Zheng Yi taste for travel meant that by the age of 15, Jun had seen more of the world than most people of the era, which I suppose you might consider a bright side, if you try not to realize that even some cats have seen more of the world than most people of the era. In 1521, the Assassin's Order used the confusion surrounding Zheng Yi's death to infiltrate the Emperor's compound and free some of the concubines, Jun among them. She immediately became an assassin, but never forgot the women she'd been forced to leave behind. Years later, she returned to the Imperial Palace to free the remaining concubines, only to find that they had been killed by Zhang Ji's successor, Zheng Jing. Jie. Jie Jing. Jie Jing's response to the second attack on the Imperial Palace was swift and brutal and caught the assassins unprepared. The Brotherhood in Eastern China was decimated. Xiao Jun and her mentor survived but were forced to flee Asia entirely. They traveled to Italy to seek the advice of Ezio Alditori, but only Xiao Jun would finish the journey, arriving in Florence in 1524, shortly before Ezio's death. <clears throat> Man, the assassins are getting decimated all over the place, it seems like, normally. Rough. Okay, so, I kind of want to check this out, see what's going on, so we can start a homestead mission. Come on. It has occurred to me that the times we live in will be looked upon by future generations with a certain degree of scrutiny. Yeah. No matter the outcome. With that in mind, I think it valuable to record the goings on around the homestead. A true log of how people lived during this time of transition. Something to help color the portrait. Okay. What do you think? When I find a moment, I will try. Very good. Okay. Encyclopedia of the Common Man. Hold LT to analyze inhabitants and add information on the Encyclopedia of Man. Okay. Anybody in here? Nope. All right. And our accounting book. Can we do anything with this at the moment? Browse all the items that you purchase. Uh, craft new items from the existing recipes and trade. Oak bark, oak lumber. Crafting. There are no artisans in the homestead to craft anything at the moment. 
Land convoy attacked. So I'm guessing we did not receive those items. So let's pick up these items. Don't know if we're going to be able to do anything really with them. Can we trade? No? Okay, so it was attacked, but what do we do once it's attacked? I'm guessing that's not quite here or there yet. Can we... Nope, can't add anything. Encyclopedia of Man just looks like it's going to be for uh, inhabitants and individuals, like it said. Ooh, anything in here? What's in here? Gambling. No, I don't want to gamble. <laughs> Sorry, full eyes. Alright. <clears throat> Let's walk outside. So I'm digging our new character model. And... What do we have out here? Is this just... Uh, maybe I just put a marker down, I guess. Okay. So that's a fast travel. We can also... Our bow. Our different weapons. And we want to equip our horse. There we are. What? Who? Where? <clears throat> oh! Oh, I'm coming! Coming! Bloody hell. Sure, sure, sure. What's going on? What do you think? How did this happen? Poachers in the woods. I asked them to leave. This was their answer. Ouch. Come on. We need to get that arm looked at. What if the men who did this? They can wait. Your wound cannot. Awesome. We're saving people. And if she comes headstrong, I guarantee it's a love interest. Yes. I think the ball took only flesh. And what is your name? They shot her? Miriam. Do you live nearby? Uh, I, I don't have a home per se. I took to the frontier when I was a young girl. I've made my life out here ever since. Drop Living body. Living the land makes it easiest. <laughs> not a common Jeez, game. choice for a woman of the colonies. No, it's, it's not. But truth be told, it was this. And the convent or the brothels. I prefer the open air. Okay, you done talking? <clears throat> still believe Achilles actually probably is going to do something awesome without needing its cane at some point. Kana, what are you doing? Those poachers need to be stopped. I saw the scabs from my hunting blind. Get to that and you shouldn't have any trouble finding them. Use the rope dart if you can. Get familiar with it. <laughs> I love it. Someone did something, whether it's, you know, a big thing or, a, uh, you know, a uh, small thing. What are we going to do? We're going to kill them because that's the way of the land. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, don't know about the moral standpoint of the game, but it gives us a chance to use the rope dart. So it's okay. <laughs> it's not okay. <laughs> nice music, by the way. Should have just let it auto run up there instead of trying to jump onto it. I'm assuming is <laughs> what the idea should have been. Okay, do do do. Oop, my squirrel. Gonna try and sneak up a little bit here. Oh, or completely miss. All right, well, whatever. Can we do Encyclopedia Man on you? Guess not. Can we just kill him?
Hey! Alright, let's... Let's use a... So we only have a hatchet, huh? We don't have a... We don't have an actual sword. It's not as useful as it could have been. Uh, we want to use our... No, not our hidden blade. Where is our... No, 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 no. Okay, rope darts. I would like to assign a rope dart. There we go. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Oh! Maybe that's how to break the defenses of those that can counter. So let's see if this guy is the guy that can counter. We we could just execute him, but hold Y and pull your target towards you to strike them. Okay, once again, I want to kind of see if this is the... If I can't just... Um, yeah, so I don't think we can counter these guys. One more time. Yeah, okay, so this is how you fight these guys then. Cool. Well, that's, uh, that's good to know. Sorry, Mr. Wolf. Yama. <laughs> Breaking the action. William Johnson's opening up some of that mohawk land he purchased for free hunting. So might be we make a good hole up there. I hear tell lumbering will be allowed to boot. I let it stop. Now. There we go. Okay, so that's that's going to be a nice tool then. Uh, <laughs> nice. Um, so are we going to be able to run out of those? Because it says only one. So I don't know if that's, well... Okay, you know the darn... I don't know if that's like, okay, you only have one, you're only going to have a max of one, or you only hey, can have one total. Where are you, fellas? Cinematic uh, rope dart. Shooting strangers in the forest, is that common hunting practice where you come from? No. I think... Spare me. Go. Tell the friends you have left what happened here. <clears throat> yeah, but that doesn't work because they, they don't... Un uh, they don't understand that you can kill them all if they come. And they will come now because they're going to avenge not only their pride, but the loss of their comrades. Oh, well. Well, nonetheless, we have a rope dart now, which is pretty damn useful, it would seem. So the bow and arrow, the rope dart, the hidden dagger. All right. Good to know, good to know. Achilles, I'm home. Let me guess, she's perfectly brand new. You are most welcome. Even her, uh, you know, clothes are clean. Those men you? <laughs> it's no secret this land is full with game. I spotted the trespassers en route to request permission to hunt here myself, and suggested they do the same. The bounty of the forest is not mine to give. It is your right to hunt on this land, but I would appreciate you trading your surplus with the others. Very well. I accept. Okay. Well, it's nice to know that everybody's so cordial and we all see eye to eye. <laughs> Furs, herbs, and other hunting ground our goods are now available from Miriam. Cool. Good for us, I guess. It'll all add towards um, you know, the things we need for the homestead later on, but at the moment it doesn't really matter as much to me. So there's Miriam. <coughs> Oops. Matt, please. All right, so we have a pig leg mission. What is this? For, oh, the frontier homestead mission. Really? Hmm. I wonder if we if we end up actually going to the frontier, like or being in this area. Oh, see, we can fast travel. So I guess it's just to the frontier in certain other places, or I didn't properly select. Um, maybe it 
No, I said set marker last time. Eh, either.